Jacqueline, thank you. Part of our next weather commitment to you is to help you stay informed with what weather may impact you and your family. And today, Colorado State University came out with its latest hurricane forecast. Let's get to new chief meteorologist and hurricane specialist Ivan Cabrera for what it said. Ivan. Yeah, guys, thanks a lot. And basically here, uh, really no change from uh, Colorado State, one of the um, universities that puts out their own forecast here. So we're going to be breaking this down and talking about what the National Hurricane Center says as well and why we're expecting a busier than normal season. So here's the latest uh, from CSU predicting 12 storms, 10 of those hurricanes, half of those becoming major hurricanes. That's a cat three or higher. Basically no change from what they talked about about a month ago. Remember the average is 14, seven and three and no change from NOAA. They give you a range 14 to 21. And it's a huge spread. Six to 10 of those become hurricanes and then half three to six of cat three or higher. It only takes one. We always talk about that. The reason we're talking about a higher than average season is La Nina. That just means less wind shear, less upper level winds that are going to be too strong. We have warm ocean waters. Storms love that. And the African waves that have been coming off of the continent here are going to be more numerous and they're going to be stronger. So waves, water and wind. What are we talking about? Well, once those storms come off of Africa, they tend to develop because of the warm ocean temperatures. And what they don't like is those strong upper level winds. In fact, this season we're expecting those light winds. If you had stronger winds, they kind of get torn apart. So waves come off Africa. They develop on the warm ocean water and then they continue to develop as a result of those lighter winds up above. And that is why we're expecting a higher than average season. I'll be back with your weekend forecast next.